splitting wood. Such a satisfying experience. Now don't worry, the tree was cut down because it was already dead and there was a risk of it falling over. Also don't worry, eye protection, steel-toed boots, my Petaluma t-shirt. Safety first. Now who needs a gym when there are so many fun and useful things you could do to prepare for the apocalypse? Kidding, I hope. But you know, all this log splitting, you know what it's making me think of? Marketing and differentiation, of course. You see, I've been doing a lot of consulting lately in category design. Now what's category design? Category design is a way of defining the category of business you're in around your unique differentiation so that your company becomes the obvious leader in your space. I'll get it. Category design was more or less invented by three very sharp thinkers. Ah, there was a knot in it, that's why. They wrote a book called Play Bigger, worth reading. They give example after example of companies that created their own categories, uh, from frozen foods to computer tablets to minivans. Even after 50 years, the company that created the new category is still the market leader. So back to wood splitting. There we go. This ax has a specially designed wedge to split along the grain of the wood to break the fibers apart, not cut them. Now I'm sure in the beginning of time there was just one category of ax. It was called the ax. And then some clever people figured out that if you design it one way it works better for felling trees. If you design it another way it's good for splitting wood and yet another way for small jobs and if you design it yet another way it's good for taking into battle. That would be the category of the battle axe. That. Now, just like shoes, in the beginning there was just, well, the shoe. Today we have running shoes, dress shoes, hiking shoes, steel toed shoes, high heels, gardening clogs, galoshes. You get the idea. Each innovation has the potential for splitting off a new category. In Roman times, there was just one kind of lawyer, people skilled in the art of pleading the case of another. Today, there are real estate lawyers, commercial lawyers, family lawyers, tax lawyers. Well, again, you get the idea. Same with consultant categories and car categories and fishing tackle categories and cybersecurity categories and fintech categories. And same with your industry. It's the natural evolution of new categories through differentiation. You can either lead that evolution or you can follow behind one of your competitors that leads it. So the question that I have for you today is this. Is there a unique difference in your product or service that allows you to define a new category? If you're like most of my clients, you probably say no. You see, defining a new category is not easy or obvious. It usually takes an outside person to see the subtle difference that can become the framework for a new category and then name it. Mm, this one. But it's worth doing. It's one of the ways I've helped my corporate clients get sales increases of 60%, get acquired, get funding, and well, become market leaders in their space. Now think about that. And while you do, I'll get back to log splitting. You know, it's a good thing I enjoy doing this. I'm logging a lot of hours doing it. And as you can see, I got my work cut out for me. And if you'd like to take a swing at category design, or if you want to get a handle on your differentiation, well, you know where to find me. 
I'll be splitting wood. <laughs>